Hello everybody and welcome back to the Guardian Legend. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Yeah. Now let's actually try and do what we wanted to do. Now we've purchased... Since we purchased those firing stripes... Yeah, we're firing fast enough that our, uh... Bullets look like a solid beam in their own right. Just based on uh, that view, that's part of why I think that uh, when you've got more chips and the, and the uh, firing stream widens out, the bullets appear to be moving faster. Chips for me? No, you got a heart. Have a heart. Oh! Not so great at dodging. <laughs> This we want. Yeah. Aha. Now we can go back and deal with the and deal with that uh, boss fellow. Who do we have? Ah, it's this guy again. Yeah. Oh, bad shooting. There we go. Our chip maximum is up to 200. Our bullet spread has widened yet again. Get used to this degree of, uh, of shot width. <laughs> it's going to be accompanying us for most of the rest of the game. There is a... There is a, uh... There is one on bigger, but it'll be a while before we see it. Oh! And that's what they mean by touch everywhere. Let's go! Fish! Really fast fish! Let's see if we can show off this hyper laser. It's like the laser in Gradius. It stays with you. Life is really out to get us now. That, and that is how you use the repeller, the repeller effectively. Find an area where you know there's going to be a lot of enemies and send it in. Generally, it'll do a de pretty decent job keeping the entire side of the screen clear. At least until it gets too high up to do that. Aha! On to our next boss. On this weapon, just to demonstrate something about this guy. Right in the middle! He won't be going too far. In fact, you can just put something, you can just put a weight on the button and walk away. 
It'll never... And this fight will go on forever. It's a fantastic way for farming points if you're big on that sort of thing. Or you can just sit... Or you can just pull down both buttons and he'll die eventually. Generally, you get power-ups fast enough to uh, replenish... To... In order to replenish your chip supply. But, uh... It will come close enough to make you sweat. <laughs> well, let's actually fight this guy. Now, because I've moved around, he's going to move around a lot. I've really done the. I've really done a faux pas with regard to fighting this guy. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Man. I think those grenades did a number on him, because I know I hit him with, with at least one or two of them. I've never seen him drop so quickly. That was interesting. But oh well. Corridor 2 is clear. We get the, we get the beam saver. Oh yeah, that, that we've upgraded created this weapon. It takes more chips, chips per second. Uh, but the only real change is that it hits harder. Quite a lot harder. In fact, that's really the only change that's ever going to happen for these saber weapons. Go figure, right? They don't get any longer, they... They just continue to hit harder. There's three levels of, uh, of weapon power in the game. The silver starting point, the golden midpoint, and the... The purple final point. Now, um... It will be a fair while before we see anything go purple. The other thing that a lot of weapons do once they upgrade is that they gain the ability to destroy enemy bullets. Which, well, if you ask, uh, they will, the enemy bullets I'm, I'm referring to are the, uh, basically the bubble shots. It looks like a bullet inside of a bubble, really. And, uh, you know, there are not a lot of weapons that can actually destroy those. Your base bullets never will be power will be able to do it. And I think, Inc., at the start, the only weapons that can destroy them are grenades. Good luck make good luck landing that hit. And the bullet shield. So at least that thing's thing really does what it says on the tin. <laughs> Into the jungle! Corridors are over here. Both of them are over there. There's two corridors in each area. But if we were to do that, then we would be skipping all the rest of the stuff in the jungle. Some of which is more desirable than others. Ugh. Want that. So that we can take on this thing. The most aggressive boss monster to be found in these walkabout areas. This thing's only attack is is to uh, move up to you and just body slam you. So I just want to exploit that. There we go. Into the forest with us. Let's have no weapon equipped. Because interestingly, no weapon equipped is a weapon in its own right. Gives you a fourth bullet to Gives you a front bullet for your normal shots. Now in this forest, we are going to find the final weapon of the game. Which is 
is right here. Use this fella. Because it is more of the spider spawner. Which is a lot more effective. It generates a lot more of the uh, creatures. And there we have it. Final weapon of the game. The enemy eraser. The one and only weapon in the game which does not upgrade. It also doesn't require any chips. We just have a limited quantity of them. They come in packs of 20. What's it do? It nukes everything. But be mindful, there are there are enemies which are immune to the enemy eraser. Hey, more firing strikes. Awesome. And in here we will learn... Oh, he lost the weight. Oh, and then the quarter three seal will be removed. Oh, oh, my mistake. <laughs> right. Well, now we've gotten everything from the forest, it's time to go take care of that. Not sure what possessed me to stay and fight. Not sure what it was, but it did. Aha! There's a save area. Where we can get the password. Getting the password means that if you die, you will respawn at that place. So, in the early game, if you... If you die and don't get the password, and you respawn where where you initially started the game. If you die during if you die during the opening corridor, then you're sent back to the title screen. In we go. Aha! When we beat up that aggressive overland boss, what we got was a shield. That, of course, increases our defense. Go figure, right? Alrighty, what we got here? Asteroids! And, so, and of course, some of the screechiest music in the game. It's a nice tune, but, uh... A few of the notes I could certainly do without. Aha! Take that little satellite thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> right. Shield to, well, absorb bullets. Haha! Now to a boss! We're going to use that aggressive method to just tear him to shreds. In fact, 
will also oh, prevent us from taking any significant damage. With the saber, with the saber stuck into him, he, he can't do contact damage to us, and all of our bullets will take out the missiles before they can really spread out. He was almost down low enough on the screen to actually be able to, to do damage. Ah, another pack of enemy erasers. Excellent. And with that, she'll make her escape from Corridor 13 and continue on next time. See you then. Later.